The following video is intended for an audience over the age of 16. Ladies and gentlemen, you seem to really, really enjoy the tanker playthrough that we just finished, so I figure I will bring you some more Metal Gear Solid 2, and we're going through the big shell next, so how about we get right on that? Big shell time, and I am Silver, your host. Righty. Okay, okay, okay. Let's start a new game, because I've had some slight saving issues and recording issues, which means I'm going to have to do things again. But we'll start from a new save, it's fine. We'll go plant, and we're going to go normal. So as always, I will be quiet during cutscenes. I have a new mic, which is much better now. So you should be able to hear me crystal clearly, and the microphone also comes with a mute switch. Excellent. So I will see you guys after the the first cutscene has rolled. Game time. And I expect a lot of cutscenes in this first hour of the playthrough. Snake, do you remember the sinking of that tanker two years ago? Of course. Terrorists blow a hole in an oil tanker full of crude barely 20 miles off the shore of Manhattan. Your classic nightmare. It didn't take long for the government to put an oil fence around the whole mess. And then that massive offshore cleanup facility went up inside. The big shell. 
I hear the cleanup isn't quite over yet. It takes time. But in the meantime, the shell's become a landmark, a symbol of environmental protection. Calling teams Alpha and Bravo. Deploy at the big shell as scheduled. Approximately six hours ago, the big shell was seized by an armed group. Do we have an ID? Former members of the Navy SEAL Special Anti-Terrorist Training Squad Dead Cell. Russian private army members may also be involved. It's a highly trained group and they have the big shell under complete control. demands 30 billion dollars 30 billion dollars what makes them think they can get that much there was a government sponsored tour going on at the big shell that day hostages huh a vip from one of the major conservation groups and one from our own government the most important person in a sense the most important person james johnson the president unless the demands are met the terrorists intend to blow the big shell out of the water and the crude will ignite turning the manhattan harbor into an inferno that's not the worst-case scenario. If the chlorides being used to decontaminate the seawater go up with the oil, toxins containing catastrophic levels of dioxins will be released. In other words, the bay's ecosystem will be wiped out, and the sea will turn into a toxic soup for centuries, becoming the worst environmental disaster in history. You have two mission objectives. One, infiltrate the offshore decontamination facility Big Shell and safeguard the president and other hostages. And two, disarm the terrorists by any means necessary. You should know that SEAL Team 10 is also conducting a rescue operation. Is this a joint effort? No. Foxhound remains a covert body. Don't alert them to your presence. That is an order. This is Snake. I'm now inside strut A of shell one. How are things? We're in luck. Looks like there are no sentries posted here. What's the visibility? The lights on the plant struts are functioning. I won't have to use the IR goggles. Any problems? There was a brand new hole cut through the oil fence. There's someone else besides me that wanted to get in badly. That's not possible. What about SEAL Team 10? They landed on the roof of the big shell as planned. And by the way, Snake, we're changing your code name for all following communication. What's wrong with Snake? Just a precaution. You are now designated Raiden. This will be your first sneaking mission. The arms will naturally have to be procured on site. Make sure nobody sees you. If you need to, contact me by codec. The frequency is 140.85. When you want to use the codec, push the select button. When we need to reach you, contact you, the codec will beep. When you hear that noise, press the select button. The codex receiver directly stimulates the small bones of your ear. No one but you will be able to hear it. All right. I'll contact you if anything changes. First, make your way to the upper section of the big shell. How do I get up to the next level? There's an elevator at the far end of that area. Use that. Sounds good. Your new sneaking suit uses electrofiber technology, a byproduct of fiber optics research. 
The texture isn't far removed from rubber, but the material protects against a wide range of toxic substances. The suit itself has a wide array of built-in sensors. It is referred to as smart skin in military R&D. Data about damage to different regions of the body, including blood loss, is exchanged between the suit and the intravenous nanomachines to create a feedback system. There's a lot of pressure on my torso. Relax. The suit applies varying pressure to major internal organs to maximize performance and safeguard their functions. They call this the skull suit in Foxhound. Skull suit seems appropriate somehow. The hatch with a circular handle will open into the elevator area. Locate the hatch first. Copy that. Moving on to main mission objectives. Yeah, I am pretty much convinced, guys, that the first hour of this playthrough is going to be about five to ten minutes of me actually talking and playing the game. With the, um, the rest of it just being cutscenes and storyline stuff. So, yeah, I'm fully expecting that this first hour will be very quiet. We're going to search the surrounding area as well. See if there's anything around that we can put to use. Should be some rations hidden around here somewhere. That and it actually gives me a couple of minutes to speak to you guys. Because as soon as we get out of this underground area, cutscenes are going to start. Ignore that codec call. You found a ration. We don't need the um, the exposition there. Nothing under here. Right. Okay. I reckon that should be all right then. We should be good. Let's get up. Gather up rations because there should be another one in here. At least if I remember rightly. There we go. Another ration. Put these away. Excellent. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Let's go. I will skip anything that's um, teaching you the game mechanics in terms of codec calls. But everything else that's plot related, I will keep and let you listen to. Colonel, I've sighted an enemy sentry. AN-94 and a Makarov. Those grenades, all his equipment is Russian made. Must be a Grelukovich man. Grelukovich? A Russian private army that was in line to work with the Shadow Moses takeover group four years ago. What's their stake in this one? They must have made a deal, an arrangement with the terrorists. They've become a band of mercenaries, an army without a country. An army without a country. Quite fitting for the plot of Metal Gear Solid, wouldn't you say? Right, let's go. Let's go and check out the area. And actually hold some conversation for a few minutes. Because most of this is definitely going to be cutscenes. Just like now. Another cutscene. There's definitely another intruder in here besides me. That's not a possibility. Not a team. Looks like a solo job. One man. We may not know who he is, but he managed to take care of every sentry in the area. They're all out cold. Whoever he is, he's got some skills. We need to get an ID. But for now, you can take advantage of the situation and get to work. There's a terminal in front of the elevator. A node. Did you say nerd? Not nerd, node. Oh. Use the node to gain access to the Big Shell's facilities network. Then what? Pull up the map of the structure. That'll let you activate the Soliton radar. 
The Soliton radar? A radar system uses biological magnetic fields as input. These estimated enemy positions are projected onto a map according to reference points collected via GPS signals and field personnel reports. We need to get to the map through the Big Shell's node to put this data processing to practical use. The node unit is about three feet high, should be colored blue. Each area has at least one. How do I gain access? Just push the action button in front of the node. The nanomachines in your body will take care of the security clearance and allow you access to the node. Complete the procedure before those sentries gain consciousness. If they spot you, you won't be able to gain access for a while. Stay on guard. Got it. Alrighty then. Let's, um, let's check through everything, shall we? We'll, um... No, I don't need the codec conversation. We're all right. Good. Three rations. Beautiful. Beautiful. We can't exactly do shaky with snaky now because we're not playing as snake anymore. Oh, Colonel, what is it? If this is plot related, then yeah, we'll have a listen. Raiden, you won't be able to use any of the enemy's equipment. Why not? You should know that all active weapons are equipped with a personal identification system. The owner enters their required user ID information during the weapon registration or at the start of the mission. If anyone other than the registered user tries to fire the weapon, the ID system will not authorize the action. But these are black market Russian weapons. How can they be equipped with identification functionality? They must have been customized by the terrorists themselves. These are professionals we're dealing with, and they certainly won't let their own equipment be used against them. I'm guessing it's the same for the Navy SEALs gear? Right. How am I supposed to procure weapons then? Find the ones that haven't yet been individualized. Everything you find in the item box is clean. You should know this from your VR training. Okay, I know those. Items in the item box are yours to use at will. They will be your supply source with regards to weaponry and gear. Can you imagine that? When you get to the point in life where weaponry has a biometric locking system on it. So it literally has to say scan a microchip or some form of biometric information before you are actually capable of firing it. What Kojima is talking about in the Metal Gear universe, which was obviously set a few years ahead of ours when this game came out. Ooh, another ration. Obviously, 2007 to 2009, when the game was released in 2001. I imagine that at some point in the future, like, maybe not now, because we're all the way into 2020, but maybe a bit later on down the line, they probably will have some kind of ID system that might prevent you from firing a weapon. Or the, you know, I can see where the mindset was. In the not-so-distant future, they'd have a system in place that would prevent people from using weapons in certain ways. Anyway, let's access the nerd. Thank you, Ryan. Thank you. Alrighty guys, code name S I L V E R. We have ourselves a silver. Excellent. Birthday, I believe it's July 30th today, so we'll go with the date because, um, as I've said to you guys before on the channel, my my age is remaining a secret, but for those of you who are in a bit more in the know, as I've mentioned before in streams, I'm older than 21, younger than 30, so feel free to guess as you please. Right, so we want July 30th. Happy birthday. 
See, it's in line with the... It's in line with the PlayStation clock. Because I'm actually signed into PlayStation Network this time around. Awesome. And nationality? Well, I think that my voice gives things away, doesn't it? So let's go with that. Download complete. And yeah, we'll keep everything as it is and exit. Here we go. Good work, Raiden. The radar should be functioning now. Let me explain about your Soliton radar system. The bright dot in the middle is you, Raiden. The red dots are your enemies, and the blue cone shape represents their field of vision. Your radar isn't affected by the weather, but if you're discovered by an enemy, you won't be able to use it. It gets jammed easily, I'm afraid. It's all made from currently existing technology. You won't be able to use it in an area with strong harmonic resonance, so be careful. The Big Shell's layout map should now be available after touching the Start button. How do I save the mission data? I've set aside a proprietary frequency for saves, and an analyst to work on the data too. Jack, is everything all right? What are you doing here? Jack, can you hear me? Rose, you're not supposed to be involved. What's going on? Jack, I'm a part of this mission. Colonel, what the hell is going on? Raiden, meet the mission analyst. She'll be overseeing the data saving and support. Why her? The Foxhound analyst that was supposed to take part in this mission was in an accident. Rosemary was brought in as a replacement. An accident? And according to the files, she knows you better than anybody else. Rose may be in the service, but an intelligence analyst is no field officer. Not to worry. She has our technical staff at her disposal. She's never been a part of a field mission. This is insane! I have my own reasons for selecting her for this mission, soldier. Colonel, I fail to see... I know your VR training performance in and out, but sometimes that's not enough. You're familiar with the Shadow Moses incident? You know I covered it in VR. If there's a crucial tactical detail that case taught us, it was the power of the operative's will to survive. I was trained to fight. My personal feelings have no place in a mission. We've learned that it doesn't work that way. And on the field, you need all the help you can get. Jack, you're stuck with me whether you like it or not. Rose. You need someone to watch your back. But I have conditions that need to be met, Colonel. What is it? I'll perform my duties and save that mission data, but I'm aware that technically I'm not part of the mission control team. After all, I'm just a normal girl who's worried about Jack. But that means, Colonel, that I am not required to follow your orders outside of my immediate duties. Jack is not simply a field personnel for me to track. His safety comes first to me, not the mission. And because of that, I will be monitoring and keeping a record of every communication you have with him, Colonel. Given the circumstances, you're free to do what you see fit. Hey, I prefer this to being kept in the dark waiting. I'd like to make a request, if I may. Of course. His handle is Raiden. For the duration of the mission, could you call him that? Yes, sir. All right, Raiden. Let me know when you're ready to turn in a save. The proprietary save frequency is 140.96. I just switched frequencies. Jack? What? Do you know what day it is tomorrow? April 30th. Is there something special about it? Isn't there? I can't remember. I'm sorry. Oh well. I'll keep trying till I hear the answer. I'm gonna let you go now, Jack. Take care. Wonderful. Raiden, the enemy sentry is re- We'll skip that, I wouldn't call it as essential. I'm under enemy fire! Secure the perimeter! Oh. And if we have those weird moments where it's just Rose bickering at Jack for being a... a bad boyfriend, then... yeah. None of that business. None of that business. 
If it comes to it like, oh yeah, Jack, why are you paying attention to other women and not me? I will most definitely be skipping that stuff. Because I'm not about that hot mess. Like, oh, Jack, you haven't saved in a while. Jack, why haven't you put your socks in the drawer? No. Just no. The terrorists call themselves Sons of Liberty. Sons of Liberty? The name of their leader is Solid Snake. The hero of Shadow Moses? So that's why you changed my code name. Right, but he can't be THE Solid Snake. He died two years ago on that tanker after he blew it sky high. Could he have survived? Not a chance. Colonel, I'm on the roof. There are no sentries, but it would only take one to spot me in this light. You never had daylight VR training after all. Stay extra sharp until you can find a node to log in from. What about the commandos? SEAL Team 10 has landed on Struts B and C. And the President? Seems he was spotted on Strut B. Strut B? The big shell is comprised of shells one and two. Each unit consists of a central core and six struts surrounding it. So the whole thing is shaped like two hexagons connected end on end. Exactly. And you're on the roof of strut A, shell one at the moment. First, get to a node. Log into the network. Got it. Alrighty, let's um, get some more gameplay done, but yeah, Rose's whole jealous streak? No, we are not entertaining that. I can, I personally cannot stand that kind of thing, it drives me nuts, because as a few of you who have watched the channel in the past are already well aware, there's some M9 ammo there, yeah, I have known some women in the past that have been quite clingy so yeah okay essential cutscene codec call Raiden seal team 10 is in do we really have no line of communication with the seals they don't know a thing about us you know we work in the dark and this mission is no exception only a few people know about your presence here <clears throat> there's no need for concern this operation is under Pentagon's direct command, and the NSDD came from the Vice President and the Secretary of Defense. Your mission may be top secret, but it's gone through the usual channels. But yeah, as I was saying, have known clingy women. So, yeah. I'm not going to sit here and listen to Paul Ride and be criticized for saying things to Emma Emmerich or, you know, not saving in a while or why don't you remember what day of tomorrow is? I'll go check the roof. I'll leave the first floor to you, okay? Understood. Although, in my opinion, if, if he forgets his own anniversary, that sounds like a problem and something you are more than likely going to get into trouble for. Because I can understand why a, wo a woman would be upset at that. Colonel, I've. This bit right here is a gameplay mechanic, so we'll um, we'll skip that bad boy. Got him. Nice. Right. Yes, I know. Knocked out sentry needs to go in the locker. Stop calling. We're alright. Okay. Come here, Mr. Guard. In we go. Into the locker with ye. Into the locker we go. Good, Mr. Guard. Excellent. Anything in here? Ooh, another ration. Nice. 
Ooh, we have a full five now. That's really good. That's really good. All right. He's dealt with. We'll check the other lockers. So, come round. Nothing else. All right. Let's get going. AB connecting bridge. <clears throat> We're gonna skip this because it's largely um. Well, it has a bit of plot related stuff to the Navy SEALs, but it's largely oh yeah, you use the hanging mode to get around guards. Ryden, watch out. There are sentries posted on the connecting bridge. Yep. Sentries posted on the connecting bridge. Right. Gonna have to wait for that guard to come back. And then we will sneak around him. I forgot to turn the node on. That's on me. I'm going to have to deal with the repercussions of that. So we're going to have to wait for that guard to come back. Seagulls. Hello, seagulls. Go on, Mr. Guard. Go back the way you came, please. Go on. You know you want to. Taking his time. Really taking his time. There we go. Let's, um, keep on going. We're gonna have to get that grip meter upgraded as well. Cause, well, at least a level two. Which means we're gonna have to do pull ups and get riding looking nice and buff. Go on, Mr. Guard. About the way we came, please. Good, good. What we get? And prepare for a long ass cutscene. So I will be. I'm actually going to head for a bathroom break while this cutscene runs because it's nearly 10 minutes long. We'll get as far as seeing Fortune's first cutscene and then we'll wind things up because it'll probably be close to an hour by then. So that's the plan. Bathroom break for me and I'll be back after this cutscene.
survive today. Or rather, six. Get down! Where is he? Strange smell. You smell like... Are you? It has to be. Shoot him! What are you waiting for? Bam. Yeah, Queen? Are you all done cleaning up? Yes, but wait till I tell you what I found. Something interesting? I'll tell you a person. Where are you? In the central unit with the president. Be right there. Hold on. I'm not an enemy. Calm down. My name is... My name is Pliskin. Iroquois Pliskin. Lieutenant Junior Grade. Are you a Navy SEAL? How did you get in? Fast rope descent from a Navy chopper. Have I seen you before? That suit, are you Foxhound? That's right. Foxhound was disbanded. Huh? Where were you before Foxhound, Delta Force? I was part of the Army's Force 21 trials. Force 21? That's about tactical IT deployment, right? Any field experience? No, not really. So this is your first? I've had extensive training, the kind that's indistinguishable from the real thing. Like what? Sneaking missions 60, weapons 80, advanced VR, huh? But realistic in every way. A virtual grunt of the digital age, that's just great. That's far more effective than live exercises. You don't get injured in VR, do you? Every year a few soldiers die in field exercises. There's pain sensation in VR and even a sense of reality and urgency. The only difference is it isn't actually happening. That's the way they want you to think, to remove you from the fear that goes with battle situations. War is a video game. What better way to raise the ultimate soldier? So you're saying that VR training is some kind of mind control? Right. what's going on? The Alpha team from Navy SEAL 10 is dead. No, a single survivor. The kid's wired with nanomachines. What about the president? Looks like they took him somewhere else. I see. You said there was a survivor from SEAL Team 10. Yeah, Lieutenant J.G. Pliskin. Has he seen your face? 
What? This is a top secret mission. No one can know that we're involved. It's a little too late for that. What's up? Take a look. What the hell? A Navy captain. You all right? Give me a few minutes. Must have lost a few more pints than I thought. What was that man just now? That blood-sucking freak? That was Vamp. He's Romanian, a wizard with knives, as you saw. The way he moved didn't seem human. You won't see that in VR, I guarantee. What is he? One of the members of Dead Cell. Dead Cell? Him? A special forces unit created by ex-president George Sears. The name was originally intended to reflect its anti-terrorist functions. The unit would launch unannounced assaults on government complexes for the ultimate terrorism simulation. They were needed to show VR troopers like you how to deal with the real thing. But around the time their original leader died in prison, the unit began to unravel. They were always close to the edge, but they became more and more extreme, began to go after U.S. allies, even civilians. We estimate that no fewer than a hundred people died as a result of accidents the dead cell arranged on their own. They were out of control, and it all came to a head six months ago. What happened? The unit was devastated. There are only three left now, and you just saw one of them. Why would they go after the big shell? How should I know? I told you they were on the lunatic fringe. What about their leader? He says he's Solid Snake. Snake died two years ago. You mean the incident that made this big shell necessary in the first place? Right, and he was the one that sank that tanker. But he's a legend. Legends are usually bad news. There's not a lot of difference between heroes and madmen. You're saying Snake is still alive and pulled another one? No, he's not involved in this one. His body was positively ID'd two years ago. Snake is dead. And buried. What about the other soldiers? I saw Russian equipment, too. Former Soviet military. They're probably mercenaries. The big shell is too much ground for just dead cell members to hold down. You weren't briefed on any of this? And you came in alone to boot? Why? What are you really doing here? Can't tell me, huh? Fine with me. I don't smoke. Keep it anyway. May come in handy. Take this, too. This is Bravo Zero, currently at the bridge between struts B and C. The president is... Damn, I can't hit this thing. It's like some bad dream. Alpha, anyone, come in, all Alpha. This is Bravo Zero. Aren't you going to answer him? The BC connecting bridge. We need to get there. Can you handle it? I need a few more minutes. Remember my frequency. It's 141.80. 141.80. Got it. I've been briefed on this plant's layout. If you need information on the place or about Dead Cell, contact me. You're using nano communication, right? Yeah, but I can patch into your frequency. Hey, what's your name? Raiden. Raiden? Strange code name. Makes up for the boring one my parents gave me. Maybe I'll find out someday.
and yes alrighty guys and finally I'm able to speak here we go let's um let's actually get a bit of plot related stuff done for a few minutes we'll um go pick up some socom rounds I think there's some hidden somewhere that's M9 <clears throat> I believe the SOCOM down here. Excellent. Turn on the node. Better do that. Excellent. Radar is on. Navy SEALs are definitely having a bad day. A very bad day. Alright. Mr. Pliskin is sleeping. Let's um, get out of here. And I think this will be enough for the first part, give or take. A few more minutes, maybe. Jack, it's me. Everything okay, Rose? Don't you need to save the mission data? Oh, yeah. Thanks for the reminder. We'll do that in a minute. It's fine. Jack, do you remember what day tomorrow is? That again. I'm sorry, but I still don't have a clue. That's okay. What is it, Rose? Talk to me. I'd rather you figure it out. It's important. How important? Important enough. And we'll talk about it tomorrow. Why not now? Tomorrow seems more appropriate. I need all the help I can get so that I won't chicken out anyway. Is that the reason you decided to be part of this mission? <sighs> okay. I'm gonna finish this thing by tomorrow no matter what. You know I'll do everything I can to help you. Rose. There's something I need you to do as an analyst. What is it? It has to do with Solid Snake. The leader of this takeover incident is claiming that he's Snake himself. The legendary mercenary? Hmm. I need as much data on him as possible. Everything they have on him after the Shadow Moses incident. He's dead now, isn't he? Yes. Should be a burial record somewhere, too. You should be able to request top-level security clearance from the Colonel. That should get us into the most classified material. I'm on it. I'll contact you as soon as I find out something. Excellent. Alrighty. We're going to do one last little thing before we bring this part to a close. And then I can start editing this bad boy to get it out to you guys. So let's um, let's go and tune in to Mr. Uh, Mr. Pliskin's frequency, shall we? 141.80. <coughs> He's asleep? Yes, he appears to be napping. He's just having a quick nap. Try again. Let's see what he says. How much longer is this guy gonna sleep? Look, he's tired, alright? Leave him be. He's had a... He's had a rough day. Been a Navy SEAL and all. Navy SEAL, inverted commas. One more try. Third time lucky. Wish I were that relaxed. Oh, well, we could go for one more. I suppose we could go for one more. Right. Third time lucky. Let's make it four. He's still sleeping. Liquid! Huh? I wonder who that might be, given our communication here. Mmm, Meryl. Mmm, liquid. I do wonder. I do wonder. It's, um, we will call him. I tell you what we will call him. We will call him Not Snake. He is Not Snake. Well, hello there, Konami Eyes. She is really quite beautiful in that tank top. Very beautiful indeed. All right, guys. Let's um check these lockers. A spare ration for later. And yeah. We'll um let me just check the time. Have I got time for a few more minutes? One moment. Let's see if I have time for a few more minutes. No. It would um seem I'm a bit short on time here. 
So what we will do, my awesome peeps, I will probably drop a save in the next minute or so. We'll watch this cutscene first, though. And then after Fortune's cutscene, we'll wrap things up. Sounds good, yeah? out of my misery. This is impossible. Nothing will hit her. Is she the one they call Fortune? Today is another bad day. Is there anyone here that can give me happiness? So sorry, my beauties. I'll see you again someday. Colonel, SEAL Team 10's Bravo team was wiped out. I see. What happened to the cargo choppers? Both of them are at the bottom of the harbor. Looks like your new hosts have a Harrier, too. A Harrier? What is this? Calm down. It just means they anticipated the attack. What? Besides, since the SEALs drew their fire, your infiltration went off without a hitch. On top of that, we know their defensive capabilities. Are you saying this was all a feint? Raiden, get a hold of yourself. The entire mission is in your hands now. Do you understand? But... There's no time for questions. They could decide to retaliate for that failed assault. You mean the hostages? They could be in danger, yes. But we need to consider the possibility that they'll blow the whole shell. If that toxic spell does take place, it'll devastate not only the harbor, but poison the coastline for generations. <sighs> Raiden, we've had to adjust the mission objectives. The priority is now on removing those C4s that the terrorists wired over the big shell. 
The president can wait, but this can't. Colonel, you know I'm no bomb disposal expert. That's not a problem. The Bravo team brought an explosives pro in with them. He was supposed to stand by on Strut C according to their mission plan. You should find him there. Is this according to simulation too? What are you talking about? Get to Strut C and find him. Understood. But I need to ask you something before I go. Make it quick. Who are they? Dead Cell, I mean. They couldn't hit her no matter how hard they tried. And that vampire too, it's... it's like... It's like being in a nightmare you can't wake up from. Jack, snap out of it. And you, Rose. I can't believe you're on this mission. I keep thinking I'll wake up. Raiden, this is real. And that's why you won't wake up. But nothing seems real. I've made up my mind to stay with you. Whether this is real or a bad dream, I'll keep watching you till it's over. Thank you, Rose. And I won't let you be just a dream. Are you two done? Raiden, you're needed on Strut C. Is it just me, guys? Or does Fortune genuinely have one of the saddest stories in gaming? Like, seriously, I had a tear in my eye for a minute there. I'm, I'm not kidding. Just, when you think about the gravity of her situation, everybody she has ever known and loved dies around her, and yet she's forced to carry on. Unable to meet the same fates or be with the people she loves. It seems horrendous. It really does. Just, wow, it's, it's really quite deep. So what we're going to do is check these bathroom stalls. Wow. Would you look at that? Capitalism is certainly looking pretty there. No wonder people are proud of that national anthem. Oh say can you see by the dawn's early light indeed. Star Spangled Banner baby. Star Spangled Banner. Nice. And we got some circum rounds. Nothing in here. And hello Raiden. Hello. Very good. Right, we'll check the other bathroom, and then we'll wind down this part. Because I've been going for about an hour, and that's how long I want these parts to be, about an hour. Some pentazamine. Nothing in that one. Nothing in this one. And I believe there's nothing in this one. Oh no, M9 ammo. We don't have an M9 yet. That's alright though. We'll, um, we'll drop a save and bring things to a close now. And then we'll meet Stillman in the next part, and... Hmm, where can we get the M9, just quickly? We have to wait until the warehouse segment, don't we? But yeah, we'll meet with Seg... We'll meet up with Stillman in the next part. So let me drop a save, and we're good to go. 1.140.96. Excellent. What's up, Jack? I want to drop a save, please. Can I please drop a save? That was my failed save from a, a failed recording. So let's um, record over this. Excellent. All those dog tags we got on the tanker as well. What a shame. Rose, are you okay? Yes, thank you. It really scared me at first, but I think I've gotten used to it. I'll be behind you all the way, so don't worry. I guess women really are strong. <laughs> not quite. It's not women that are strong. It's me. Just as long as I can count on you. Actually, that's not true. It still scares me to death. But I'll be strong. I'll try. For you. Good luck. Oh, she's been re she's been supportive. In the last recording, she was complaining, and she was complaining, and you know, making an issue of the fact that he wasn't saving enough. And I'm, I'm sat here worried, and I'm so worried about you. And why haven't you saved? I'm, I'm happy that she's been supportive. That's very nice of Rose. Anyway, guys, I do hope you've enjoyed it so far, and it probably has come to your live premiere. So I do hope it's been a good show. I have been Silver, your host. Have a fantastic morning, afternoon, or night, and I will see you again very soon.
Take care, guys.